Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and I'm coming to you today with part number seven of our lovey Amigurumi <laughs> blanket. How gorgeous is the blanket for starters? And secondly, we are finally going to attach the head onto the blanket of our little Amigurumi guy. <laughs> <laughs> is he not cute or what <laughs> yes I did a very very bad scissor job of his hair but that's okay so today we are going to be attaching the head to the blanket and as you can see he has come along gorgeously I'm not going to talk anymore we're just going to get started with attaching his head onto the blanket thank you so much for joining me with this project guys don't forget to, if you want to do the the start of this project and all the other parts to the series uh, they will be in the description box down below I will put in the playlist of the series so you'll have it all from one to seven plus the interview with my daughter who first started off the actual Amigurumi head for me so thank you so much for watching guys I'm not going to talk anymore let's just get started with the tutorial all right guys here we have our little amigurumi head whose hair has been totally messed up by yours truly <laughs> fine i got a little bit scissor happy what do you do <laughs> anyway so we're about to start attaching his little head to the blanket so you'll need the head obviously you'll need the blanket obviously you'll need a needle but you'll need one that's a little bit longer than your average sewing needle. I'm hoping this is making sense. I'm trying not to make it look so blurry, but it is coming across blurry, isn't it? There we go. That's better. So it's got to be a little bit longer than your average. Most of the average ones are about that small. And this one's a little bit longer. It's only because we have to get it through the opposite side of the Amigurumi's head. And you will need some yarn and preferably the same yarn that you first started off with for your centerpiece now the reason being is you're going to be going in and out of there but underneath as well so if I, I actually was going to use the yellow and I started playing a little bit with the yellow and then I thought it doesn't look very nice under there so we are going to use the green and we are going to sew now yours truly has a little bit of a different way of doing this okay but um, I don't know get, cut yourself at, um, half a metre, a metre, whatever length you want. Now, I've just knotted that, so that's about the length I'm going to use. Forget that. I'm not taking that knot undone. There you go. <laughs> it helped me out a lot. So there's my one. If you could see the size of your blanket, doubled. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to thread our needle, which is quite easy because the actual eye of the needle is bigger than your average. So there we go. Now, um i wouldn't do a knot right yet okay we're going to do that later um in fact i would like for you to make both lengths exactly the same like so okay because your very first thing you're going to do is pop it through this is your right side facing you how you can tell it's your right side see your little v's they're facing you when you look at them if you're looking at them that way, the V's are going backwards. See those little V's going backwards. You want your right side facing under. Okay. So what you're going to do, this is the wrong side. Okay. You are going to pop your needle. Let's give you a nice little close up. Right in the center of that wrong side. So pop your needle in for now. Pull the thread through. Now don't pull it all the way through. Okay because you are going to do a little knot i know a lot of people don't like that i get it but i want at least one knot done as you know as best you can and then later don't think that's it you are going to weave that end in later which means it's just going to be in my way that's all <laughs> okay so there you go now your thread is on the right side okay nice and tied up in a bit of a knot there's your Amigurumi head, which is going to go right in the center. Now, I've got a bit of shadowing in the lighting here. I'll try and work as best I can, um, but I think blowing it up a little bit closer. I know it's a little bit too close, guys, but at least you won't see the shadowing as much. All right. So now, my idea is, and I don't know if it's the same as everybody else's, because that's right in the middle. 
So you're going to want to pop your needle just in that middle for now. Any way you want, doesn't matter. Put it in the middle and put it through your next stitch. This is just to pop the head on the blanket. Now you want the head to be right dead center in the middle of your blanket on that little gap right there. All right. Now what I usually do, and a lot of people don't do it, I literally go through threads like that. Now you don't need to do it. I'll show you a close up in a minute. You don't need to do it this way. You could do what a lot of people do where they just go backward and forward and take a bit of the thing in like that way and just keep going backward and forward and backward and forward and then side to side and then, you know, different angles. I get that. I understand that. But yours truly, and I'm going to get a nice close up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So what I usually do, that's gone through there. Your best bid, because we've just popped it through there, you want to pop it through the centre again. Or as close to the centre as you can get it. All right, pop it in the middle. Turn your guy upside down. Pull your other threads away. And then just pull your little thread through. Now, you might want to check it, because I noticed mine was getting all knotted before. Okay. All right. So at the moment, he's just sitting wobbly on there. You don't want to leave it like that, because it's going to come off, isn't it? So we are going to find another section to put it through. Now we're not going to keep putting it through the middle over and over again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll bring that out again. We're not putting it through the middle over and over again because we don't want to just leave it like that. that that's pointless, right? So we need to find the very next stitch. Don't put it in the hole. Oh, sorry. Let me get close again. Don't just put it in a hole. That's not going to help at all. Pop it through. A stitch whether you pop it through the center of the stitch right there or whether you pop it through the actual top part of the stitch I usually pop it through the center all right pop it through don't put it on your doll's head yet you're going to do that in a minute we've just popped it through the center of one of those stitches it's actually through and I'll give you a close-up here it's through one of the posts see how we've got the post right there it's actually through the post not the stitch itself but the two threads there it's right in the middle of that I hope that helps and I just want to check the back and make sure I'm not pulling these threads all right you don't need to if you want the threads to be tied up but we're going to weave those threads in yes people I know they don't like the idea of weaving but we are going to weave them in now now that we're on this side we're just going to put it through any stitch there all right and what we're going to do is we're going to go around the head Remember where you started. Now I started at the back of the head. So just pop it through the first stitch like that. And then pop it in one of the stitches. The stitch itself. Oh, sorry, right there, that stitch. Pop it between the two posts again. Or as best as you can get it. And then straight through. It's pretty simple, really. It's just fiddly because, you know, the head is rather big. I think we should have probably done the head a little different. Oh, I've got it all tangled up in front. I'm making a mess of the hair right now, but it will sort itself out later. We'll give it a comb. <laughs> How's that? All right. So there you go again. Now, you need to decide which way you want to go. I'm just going to go around. Okay. So let's see where the last stitch was, which is there. All right. So we literally want to come out of... I'm hoping you can see this. See that stitch right there? That's where we went into. So we want to come out to one next to it. It doesn't have to be the very next one. It can be the second one or the third one, whichever stitch you want to put it in. Okay, so just have a careful look. Oh, I can see if that's better. Not there. Any one of those stitches right there, and um, I think we'll pop it in that one right. See how I've split that? I don't know if you can see it. I've split that little thread right there. Pop it through. Pull your thread through. Just check the back. Make sure you're not pulling these things right here, which I've, I've done. See that? Okay. You've just got to be careful. Like I wasn't. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, all sorted. Now, where were we? We were at the back. All right. Now, we're going to find another stitch that we can go into, which is right there. Okay. 
don't stress there's no right or wrong way of doing this okay just do as best you can pop it through the stitch the other side make sure you haven't pulled that thread which I've done see it's very easy to do popping it I've just split the thread lucky this is not a pointy <laughs> not a not a sharp one okay let's have a look where we are still very wobbly look at that head wobbling around no 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 we've got to get right through this blanket now where did we come out of there so there's the stitch right there okay and there's the other one right there so we want to pop it through another area of our blanket and i'm thinking that side right there so that stitch right there i'm hoping you can see all this guys i'm trying to get as visible as i can we've popped it through pull your needle through make sure you haven't caught all this which i have <laughs> i'm doing well today guys all right so that's where our last thread was right there so we want to pop it in an area where we haven't popped it in yet so we just find another stitch right there now i'm in front now see that stitch right there all right that's that now we pop it through one of the other stitches right there before i do i'll make sure i haven't pulled it through here and i have there we go now oh, we're getting better at not pulling it through at least <laughs> all right how's that there's that one's done right there so we want to come out here somewhere so pop your needle under that's where we want to come out right there because we've done that stitch right there so we're going to do the next one again there is no right or wrong way of doing this <clears throat> keep messing up those threads underneath all right so here we are again let's find a spot that we haven't done right there so that all right there okay getting there so guys this is obviously the final part of our series i hope you have enjoyed doing this i know i have enjoyed it um again amigurumi as you all know not my favorite thing in the world to do <laughs> um but you know francis my daughter who started the whole series off has allowed me to step out of my comfort zone which, you know, occasionally, guys, we really need to do. We really need to step out of our comfort zone. Now, I haven't gone all the way around yet. Let's try one more. I'm just going to pop that through for a minute, see where I am. No, that's not right. We want it right next to it, which is there. Okay? Does that make any sense right there? Stitch right there. Pull it through. And just check underneath. Perfect. And I've made an absolute mess of his head. <laughs> Look at his head. He's all over the place. And just grab another thread right there. After all this, we are going to go through, hold it down, and then we're going to do what everybody else does. Go through one way, go through the other. But for the initial starting, I wanted it to be sewn on completely. Let's see where we need any more threads. We're all done. So that's the initial part of it. Now... Go through there, just through to the back. That's all you need to do for now. Pull the thread through. Now I want you to tip it upside down and go through some thicknesses. So you're going through not just a blanket, you're going through the actual Amigurumi himself. All right, you're going through his whole head. All right, one way. Then you just find a different stitch. Oops. And you go exactly the same way back, but different stitching, of course, different area. Yes. Pull that through. We're going to, you've done that bit. Now you've got to go across that way. So, Weave yourself all the way over, right into the thickness of the amigurumi. 
again, you know, wherever, whichever way you want it to go is fine. Same with the other. We're going through all thicknesses, remember, not just the blanket. Now I'm just going around and around and around through all thicknesses. So it must be really tight now. Just if you want to have a look at it, just to see, and make sure you're doing a good job. See now it's starting not to move too much. It's still moving and I've noticed over here it's um, more loose. So we're going to work on that. Okay. On um, our very next vlog in vlog 24, we're all going to go show off our mega roomies. Um, if you really wanted to show me your Amigurumi or your lovey blanket or whatever it is that you've got out of this series um, and what it'll do is you can actually go onto my Facebook page and show me that way okay and everybody can see your lovies now I would stop there okay because we now need to be careful because your thread is getting short well mine is anyway if you're worried about the head moving around too much you can get another thread and start again but that's really strong I'm not worried about that okay so what I'm going to do is cut here all right now you've got these ends left you're going to weave them in and out a few times and mine is cut a little bit too short so hopefully there's no way the doll's head's coming off anyway, so I'm not really worried. And you're actually weaving them in and out of his head. In and out of his head you're weaving. And if your thread comes undone and you've got no thread left, put the needle through his head and just keep weaving it in and out. Keep re-threading your needle and weaving it in and out. Like that's just come undone now. So what I'm going to do is put pop the needle through here and then re-threading re our needle you there we go we're in that's it that's as far as I'm getting it all right give it a cut up there because I did it so low that's gonna fall right into place all right, now we're going to do the other side. Now, the other thing is, guys, you still have that knotted part. And if you want, which I'm going to do, I'm going to take that knot undone and weave it in and out as well. There is no way your head is coming off this Amida Rumi. Okay, so weave and weaving away. Weave, weave, weave away. And I think this is perfect, this one. Yep. We give it a cut. It will fall into place. When you give your little doll or Megarumi head a bit of a squish, it will fall into place. Now that's that. Now we're only going to take it undone a little bit. We might leave the first knot in. Uh, actually, we'll just see if we've got it. Yeah, we'll take that undone a little bit. Otherwise, it's too bulky. You don't have to. You could have left the knot in. It's entirely up to you. And now we're going to do exactly the same with these threads. Too easy, guys. Too easy. I hope I've been in frame for this because I wasn't looking <laughs> down the camera. And you know what? I can't do it again because it's all done. <laughs> so I sure hope I've been in frame. Okay. really thick this part I'm going to re-thread this bless you all right so that's that I am going to re-thread it because I have a lot left here okay here we go I threaded that one off air because I was getting frustrated as you do all right we're just going to pull this one through oh that's real tight isn't it all right, 
and we're done okay now I'm going to leave the other one <laughs> look at his hair <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh that's funny as all right so let <laughs> oh let me, let me fix this <laughs> This is what happens when you play with it. Maybe we should have done the hair afterwards. No, this this was the right way of doing it. Doing the hair first. I mean, we'll brush it off air later anyway, so don't stress too much. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no, I get the giggles, guys. Once I get it, I can't stop. All right, so give your little guy a little bit of a brush. And guess what, guys? You have finally finished your lovey. <laughs> How gorgeous is he? Guys, thank you so much for joining me in the final part of our Lovey series. I mean, how gorgeous is this blanket? And I really would love to do this blanket as a blanket eventually one day. But not right now because we have so many other projects we need to do. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me in part seven, the final part of our Lovey. All you need to do now, guys, is name him or her. I haven't named him or her. I will have a name before vlog number 24. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and hit the little bell button so that you can receive further tutorials in your inbox. And guess what, guys? For this part of the series, the final part of the series, I'd like to say one thing. Ciao for now.